Yeah. So in Glasgow, we want to be seen to have a big electric vehicle fleet. Um, it's better for the city, better for the travelling public. You know, it's better for everyone to have yeah. a. You know, who wouldn't want improved city streets? Here we are in the beautiful centre of Glasgow. What's the, what's the importance to you um, of all of this when it comes to clean air? So we, we feel like we, we need to do our piece and we want to do our piece and, it, and if we can make the, 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 the operational um, stack up in terms of the ranges and everything else and, and now we can um, and that hasn't been the case up until very, yeah. very recently and we can make this, the case commercially and again with, with uh, people like uh, Zebra with, with the funding from Transport uh, Scotland as well up in Scotland then if we can make the commercial case, we can make the operational case, why wouldn't we invest in cleaner vehicles that are better for the environment, that are good for customers, that are nicer to drive for the drivers? It just makes absolute sense. Yeah. So um, I think it's really exciting. We've got, we've got, we've got you know, our commitment to 2035, we've got 14 years to change our entire fleet. Um, and it, it's a hugely exciting journey that, you know, if you divide our fleet by the number of years, we, we need to be investing in around three, three to four hundred vehicles every single year, yeah. um, in order to complete complete that operation. So I suppose one of the questions a lot of people ask is, is you know, what, what do Hitachi do and what are we doing doing with you? And it's 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 a good question and it's something we're we're really proud of actually. Is first of all we're helping you with the financing the batteries, particularly on on these buses, but we're also uh, looking at how we can use our tech to improve and help you transform both both the buses of the future but also the depots of the future. So how can we integrate all of these different new pieces of tech? Because it's, it's, it's pretty complex. When you, when you break it down, we've got how do we get the power into the mm. depot? Uh, what type of charges do you use? How effectively do you use them? There's, there's hardware issues, there's software that runs on those. You then want to be smart in the yeah. way that you charge, when you charge, how you charge. And ultimately, you know, we know that things are going to go wrong. There's going to be buses that are not going to be um, charged for, for whatever reason. And our job is actually putting ourselves between you and all of the various different parties that could be responsible for why that bus hasn't been charged. Because it could be user error, it could, might not have been plugged in, yeah. the charge point might not have been working, software on the charge point, uh, anything to do with power coming in. Our job is to help that transition be as smooth as possible and ongoing runs really, really effectively because what we rely on is, is our data platform mm -hmm. to actually provide you with all of the information and us with all of the information before, essentially before anything goes wrong, so you can anticipate it, remediate it, and get it sorted before anybody even notices and, and just ensure that you can then focus on what's important for your business, which is getting as many people using your buses and loving your buses as much as possible. And certainly, you know, from a, um, where we started on this particular journey, was uh, we needed a partner that would understand or help us understand the battery as a service yeah. element. So, um, you know, effectively buying, buying the battery and then selling it to you guys and then renting it back over the life of the battery to give us certainty over a key variable in the total cost of ownership yeah. um, it is really, really useful. I think it's been evident since we, you know, started to speak to Hitachi um, that there's a load of other things that you guys can do as well as, as, as the pure battery as a service element. And so it's, it's, if you like that, we take that one as red, and then it's the other elements that we're keen to develop, that, that relationship, that partnership, that means that we can, we can deliver a better service to our customers for the lowest cost that we possibly can. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we, we don't want to, we'll work with you to work out, well, where does that as a service element end? Because yeah. it could be even further, it could be buses as a service, and we just essentially deliver you with a bus and guarantee a level of state of charge. We, we just want to experiment and work out with you, and that's the beauty of this partnership, is what we can do is we can, just, just test these different models out, different commercial approaches that, that see what works best for your business and for our business. And I think it's a, it's a dream partnership.